subscribers and you're coming at you again with another tutorial now I know I've been MIA but and I was taking a little time out to deal with some personal stuff and all but now I'm back and everything is good all right now I am going to do a tutorial on Bonnie Wheeler's ballroom floor a very energetic song a song that you can dance one hour reggae all right now if this is your first time tuning into my channel I'm gonna ask you to go on down there and hit the red button the red one down there that's a subscribe button Hit the notification bell when it comes on and hit also whenever I post a new video tutorial, whatever I put here on YouTube, you will be alerted. Now due to copyright claims and laws and whatever, I'm you know I'm trying my best to stay away from that. I went ahead and I you know I built a track for this one, but I did not make it perfect. I tried to leave a little bit of flaws here and there, especially when it comes to the instrument. But what I want you guys to concentrate on is the chord progression, is what I'm going to be teaching. So so what I'm going to be playing here is just an example, it's just for guidance, alright? So grab your guitars, let's go! Bonnie Wheeler ballroom floor all right this song is in the key of F all right so it's um four simple cards no extension cards or anything like that so it's not complicated all right the most complicated part of the song is just to know the structure all right which I'm gonna teach you guys all right so um we use a F major, we use a B flat major, and also a C major. When it gets to the bridge, we're going to be using a 2, which is a G minor. All right, now I'm going to place these, you know, different places on the guitar. Probably some of them you're not, you guys are not really used to, but I'm going to show you exactly where I place my finger. All right, I, I did that because I'm trying to get the best sound. All right, so um, so let's start with this F major here first. But we're not going to use this one, all right? We are going to use this one. All right? To form this F major, you want to buy the whole fifth fret. Place the middle finger on the second string, sixth fret. Place the pinky the ring finger on the fourth string, seventh fret. Pinky finger on the fifth string, the fifth string, eighth fret. All right, you want to play from the fifth string down. Now, if your fingers can't reach, then use this one. All right, you bar the old eighth fret and you place that ring finger on the second third and fourth string of the tenth fret you want to strum from the fifth string again all right so now the intro is on the one to the four 
all right so one four now to get this four which is a b flat major you want to borrow the sixth fret place the middle finger on the third string seven fret pinky finger on the fourth string eight fret ring finger on the fifth string eight fret all right by now you guys should know the formations for all uh, these major and minor cards all right all right so this is for the intro and the verse all right the intro and the verse all right so it goes like this Then. No, I didn't tell you what's to run the street. But that's what happened when you were got dug in the street. You're locked so tight. You don't even know when it's the morning. That's the G minor. You go there. Alright, so when you go, no, when it's morning. Alright, so. The G minor that you guys probably know is the one here. You want to bar the third string, ring finger on the fifth string, fifth fret, pinky finger below at the fourth string there. All right. But I use this one where you bar the fifth fret and you place your middle finger on the first string, sixth fret, ring finger on the third string. 7th fret, pinky finger on the 2nd string, 8th fret, alright? But if you guys can't reach this one, then use this one. Which you go, you look so tight, you don't even know when it's the morning. You can use that one. But for better sound, you lock so tight, you don't even know when it's morning. Then you play it again. The music's so right, you don't even care when it's dawning. My bad, sorry. Alright. So, here we go with that. So we're gonna, I'm just going to start with the verse. No one didn't tell you what's to roam the street. But that's what happened when you rub a dub and get sweet. You're locked so tight, you don't even know when it's morning. The music's so right, you don't even care when it's morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you change. When you go. How does it feel? That's when you go to the C major, which is the five. To find it on. So. How does it feel to find it on the ball? So. Does it C major? To B flat major to one. Four, five, four, you know, so that's what you play. One, four, five, four. I hope you guys are following, all right? I did it step by step. You should not be confused, all right? Now, let's say you wanna, you guys want to play it the way you know it. So, one didn't tell you what's to roam the streets. That's what happened. My bad, let's use this one. No one didn't, no one didn't tell you what's to roam the street. That's what happened when you rub a dub in gate sweet. You're locked so tight, you don't even know when it's done in. The music's so right, you don't even care when it's morning. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel to find it on the ball? Or do you feel like you can rock some more? For a strictly robot dub. 
When we do bandy water I can get low Alright So the verse Is going to be the one To the four When it goes so you lock so tight, that's so lock so to the four. You don't even G minor. You play it again. The one to the four, back to the G minor. Now you're gonna be bouncing from four. What does it four? Five, four, sorry. The barroom floor How do you feel like you can rock some more? For I strictly rub back the for sure When the dub and the wax rocking yellow Then back to the verse No scan till you weary so that's where you bounce from the one to the four again one to the four one to the four all right it is as simple as that as for the strumming of this one it's the regular reggae strum you know Alright, so for all the first timers, all those who are just visiting my channel, alright, remember reggae you do not want to be doing. That's not reggae. Neither. That's not reggae. Alright, when you hold the guitar, you strike with this hand and you squeeze with this hand. They should sync together, alright? You mute it so it's not supposed to have this long legato sound. Like it's a to make the song like for yourself. You can use a little bit of Y if you want to. So that's how you strum reggae. You can use a palm for muting also. So muting is important. It's a very important part of playing reggae. All right. You don't want it to ring out too much, and you'll be good. All right. So there you have it. That is how you play ballroom floor by the great Bonnie Wheeler, a living legend. Now this tutorial was helpful. Remember to put it down there in the comment section. However you feel about the about the tutorial, put it down there in the comment section. If you have another request let me know do not forget to like comment share most importantly do not forget to subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on so whenever i post something you will be alerted my name is zion blessed love peace out see you next time with another tutorial